Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. In NumPy, the numpy.trunk function is used to truncate the values of an array to their integer representation by removing the decimal part, i.e., it effectively rounds towards zero. This can be particularly useful when you want to convert floating point numbers to integers without rounding. Hashtag 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 number pi truncate tutorial. Hashtag 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 one. Installation of number pi. If you haven't already installed number pi, you can do so using pip. Hashtag 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 two. Importing number pi. First, you need to import the number pi library in your Python script. Hashtag 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 3. Using numpy.trunk. The numpy.trunk function can be applied to a number pi array or a single number. It returns the truncated values as a new array. Syntax asterisk. X, input array of numbers, can be a scalar, list, or number pi array. Hashtag 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 4. Example usage. Here is an example demonstrating how to use numpy.trunk. Hashtag 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 5. Output. When you run the code above, the expected output will be. Hashtag 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 6. Behavior with different data types. Scalars asterisk numpy.trunk can also be used directly on scalar values. Complex numbers asterisk note that numpy.trunk does not support complex numbers and will raise a type error. Hashtag 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 7. Performance consideration. Numpy.trunk is optimized for performance and can handle large arrays efficiently, making it a good choice for numerical computations where truncation is required. Hashtag 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 conclusion. The numpy.trunk function provides a simple and efficient way to truncate floating point numbers to their integer parts. It is useful in various applications, including data cleaning and pre-processing in numerical computations. Feel free to ask if you have any further questions or need more examples.